Hey everybody, it's Ped's Card Collection coming back at you with another video. And tonight, as promised, we are breaking open Jumbo Hobby Box number two of 2022 Tops Update Baseball. Super excited to get into this. Not expecting this one to be anywhere near as good as my first box, which was insane. If you haven't already checked that one, highly recommend checking out that video. Seems like every pack had uh, you know, several hits in it and, um, had some really, really nice rookie parallels. So bought two up, um, when I was at the shop. So we're going to be cracking open this one on tonight's video, but really appreciate you checking this out. Hope you're all doing well. Let me know in the comments below if you ripped into any 2022 tops update lately. And if you pulled any bangers, if you pulled or if you've bought any nice singles who you're chasing and how about a nice box topper mike trout tops update rookie box topper that's pretty sick so i'll take that for sure unfortunately i don't have the original 2011 tops update mike trout rookie but uh maybe one day i'll be able to get my hands on some so let's get into this jumbo hobby Got a lot to get through, so we're not going to waste too much more time. But the reason why I chose the Jumbo Hobby up front is because of the guaranteed autograph. Um, in my opinion, you get uh, better odds at pulling bigger short prints of the rookies. And um, you also get, instead of one, you get two silver packs. And you can pull autographs of Bobby Wood Jr., J-Rod, all the big fellas. So let's try to fill up the stage, just like we did last time, one pack at a time. Absolutely love 2022 Tops update this year. They really knocked it out of the park. The checklist is insane with all the big rookies. Main ones being Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt Jr., CJ Abrams. We got Wanda Franco. Rookie debut of uh, O'Neill Cruz. And then there's a nice J-Rod debut right off the top. And then the short print variations of these players are really, really cool looking. There's a Gatorade bath short print of J-Rod. There's a the SP of Bobby Wood Jr. It's like a side view of his mullet. And um, just a, all the numbered parallels you can get. And uh, the jumbos are also nice. Here's a nice Torkelson because can only get the gold foils out of the jumbos you can't get them out of the regular hobbies so um another reason to pay a couple extra bucks and get the jumbo george kirby loved him a lot put him in the good card pile he really got stronger as the season went on i believe at one point in the season they sent him back down to the miners to work work on some stuff and he really started uh utilizing that Elevated fastball up in the zone. It's so many RPMs on his fastball. It almost seems like a rising fastball for him. And that was uh, really working for him against the Astros. They couldn't seem to catch up to it. And it seemed like other other teams that played him, or I guess there was only one or two other teams that uh, tried to deploy the same strategy. And uh, when they did it to the plan, it did work. Kind of raised the eye level and then you know, dropping a curveball, and then when you throw throw that fastball, it looks even faster after you set it up with the curve. Got a Royce Lewis rookie card, so we're getting to the good stuff. Pack number one, Ron Marinaccio. He's a really nice relief pitcher, reliable for the Yanks this year. Got a Josh Rojas is going to be our first gold foil. Got ourselves a Warren Spawn die cut, Aaron Judge All-Star Game, and a Nolan Ryan. So nothing too crazy in that first pack, but we did get a J-Rod rookie. I'm, I'm sorry, that was actually the debut, so we're just going to leave that in the pile for now. But still got plenty of packs to go. We'd really like to pull a gold Bobby Witt Jr. or a short print of him. He's my main PC guy from this checklist and from this year. But it seems like the way the chips have 
landed, I should be <laughs> piecing J-Rod because I pulled some pretty massive cards of him already this year. And uh, they all came from flagships. So two monsters out of Series 2, the rookie autograph, obviously, the short print, which are both at PSA, like MJ Melendez a lot. And then I pulled the... I won't give it away, but I pulled a parallel rookie of him in my update box, so... I think this is going to be one of the better releases of the years for sure and there's our j-rod rookie so let's get this one front and central to get this party started here nice j-rod hopefully we get a nice snowball effect from that card all righty got a ross stripling A lot of flipping around, just kind of annoying. Figured they could fix that by now, but apparently not. Cabrera debut, Matt Strom, fellow card collector. Let's get to the good stuff here. First Bobby Witt rookie. All right, we got another gold foil coming on up. I think I had that right the first time. It's going to be a landscape card. Sean Doolittle. Got a Roger Clemens. Die cut. And Alec Manoa. And Elliot Ramos. So this box is off to a much slower start than our first one. Like I said, don't expect this one to be anywhere near that good. But hopefully we can get some nice cards. And uh, no numbered cards yet. I think in our first box we had nine numbered cards. So that's like a, almost one per pack, which I don't think, I think we definitely beat the odds with that. So going to be tough to get that many numbered cards, but hopefully when we do get them, we get the right, the right players. There he blows Bobby Witt Jr. So we got the big two out of the way early and often. You'd love to see that. This one's really well centered. So we got the Witt, we got the J-Rod. Now I got to start packing on the big boys. Gabrielle Rice, rookie card. There's another nice one out. Thomas, rookie. Say a Suzuki, rookie. Kenzie Gore, here we go. Can we start turning up the heat with pack number three? We got a rainbow foil here. It's going to be a Minnesota twin. Could it be a Royce Lewis, hopefully? It's not going to be a Royce Lewis, but it's a Gio Urshela. We got a short print coming up, guys. So first short print of the box. Joey Votto tops black gold. Alejandro Kirk and a sunny gray. So let's see who our first short print is going to be. Oh, it's a gold. All righty. The Viz is going to be an insert card. So that's actually pretty nice. Oh, I just pulled the auto. John Heasley is our autograph. So definitely not as good as the Royce Lewis black, but it is a rookie auto. For the Kansas City Royals, don't know too much about him, but pretty clean looking signature. So it seems like the autos continue to catch us by surprise. This is a nice Juan Soto rivalry love card. Back when he's still back at the Nationals. Gold out of 2022. We got two more packs in the first half of the box. Still got our silver packs to go. I think we got a relic in this one. Ellery's Montero rookie card not even gonna flip these around also looking for jeremy pena rookie card obviously the star of the world series world series mvp so there's our nice cj abrams one of my buddies at the gym today actually told me that he i guess i didn't realize that he played uh college baseball at maine and uh, speaking of the devil, my 
a friend uh, played against him in college, and he was saying that when they went up to play him, there was all this uh, chatter around him saying that they got this, you know, big league guy on their team. His dad played in the pros, and this guy, kid was supposed to be, you know, a big, big league prospect. And he said at the time, he was very skinny, and it didn't really stand out too, too much. But obviously, he grew uh, into his body, into his frame, and matured mightily, and uh, really took off there. Can't really get much better than being the World Series most valuable player as a rookie just taking on a lot of responsibility, performing under pressure, and just having insane leadership skills. And it's pretty remarkable. So I didn't even realize he played college. I thought I just assumed that he was, you know, signed at a very young age. But uh, the more you know. Got a Gary Sanchez. No, Syndergaard. O'Neill Cruz. Got a gold foil. Daniel Vogelbach, the Mets picked up his options, so he will be back next year. They also signed Edwin Diaz to the largest contract ever for a relief pitcher. Five years, 102 million bones. And uh, let's see what we got for our first non-gold numbered card. It's going to be a Cleveland Guardian. Let's hope it's a Stephen Kwan. Not going to be a Stephen Kwan. It's going to be a Yu Chang. And followed up is going to be... Eloy Jimenez Bat Relic, not numbered. Get that bad boy sleeved up. So definitely not getting as lucky thus far, but we still got a lot of packs to go. And like I said, the rookie checklist is one of the best, not the best since 19 Series 2, probably better than Series 2. And, uh, oh, there's a nice Bobby Witt Jr. Probably rivals 2018 Tops update with Otani, Soto, and Acuna. I think that's a better comparison. And that's a sick Bobby Witt card that I didn't pull in my first box. So really happy about that. And something deep inside me still is wanting to open up a case of this, a case of hobby. And uh, I keep seeing striker rip hangers, uh, cases of hangers. I watched the first one live stream. I haven't watched his second one yet. Uh, but that one, <laughs> but those videos really make me want to just get a whole case of this and just go to town. So we'll see. Um, Got to decide if I would if I would do a regular hobby case, a jumbo hobby case, or a hanger case or a blaster case. Probably not a blaster case. Um, nice Hunter Green. I'd probably do either a... What is flipped around? What's going on? Don't know why that's flipped around, but I'd probably either go regular hobby case or a uh, hanger case. Just because I already opened two jumbos, but I don't know. You get more... You're definitely going to get more autographs from the jumbo, but I feel like the checklist for autos is pretty... Pretty massive. So let's get to the good part of this pack. Rich Hill. Seiya Suzuki. Brad Boxberger. Oh, whoa. We got a black to 71, guys. See, this has the potential to be a ridiculous hit. I like this Alec Thomas rookie a lot. Next. Now... I always say this card wrong for some reason. I guess generation now, but I like that card a lot. But we got a black, guys. This has some serious, serious potential. See what it is. Let's just hope it's at least a rookie card. Oh, man. This is a big one. Alrighty. Let's ch check it out. Oh, it's going to be a low. No, it's not going to be a landscape gonna be a padre 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 it is a rookie oh my lord could that be a cj abrams oh my god oh my god come on dude no 
No. I thought we had a C.J. Abrams black border rookie card that would have been massive. Oh my God. Fuck. Pardon my language, guys. That sucks. That sucks. Uh. All right, well, we were close. We were close. So far, this box is bringing us back to reality. It's our third numbered card of the box. We should get quite a few more. Oh my Lord, I was about to erupt. CJ Abrams, black to 71. That would look so nasty. I've been eyeing the Bobby Witt Jr. Father's Day Blue Parallel out of 50 on eBay. I think someone has it up for 3K. And then there's another one I think it was up for 2K. But that card is unbelievable. And I think that a black border CJ Abrams or Independence Day of any of those big rookies would, you know, be in that same magnitude. Man. All right. Here we go. Getting to the good stuff. Got a rainbow foil. It's a pitcher. Michael Fulmer. All right, we got a short print. We got short print numero dos. And we got a rookie black gold. Suzuki. It's a nice one. I really want the blue. Ooh, nice Melendez rookie. I want the blue, black, gold wit. It's a lot of colors in one insert, but you guys get to catch my drift. All right. Outfield, St. Louis. Nah. Stan Musial, that's pretty sick. Stan Musial short print. Believe that's just the regular SP. Forget what the SSP code would be. But um, let's get that bad boy on a stand. All right, four more packs. And we got the silver pack. Really appreciate you checking this video out. Hook me up with a like if you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Obviously not nearly as good as the first box, but kind of knew that was going to be the case going into it. These two boxes were back-to-back. -back. FASC. So, it's hard for them both to be. There's another Torkelson. George Kirby, so we're starting to see some duplicates. Hopefully we got the good duplicates like last time. I think we got two wits, two J-Rod base rookies. Don't know if that's the norm or not, but... The more the merrier of those folks. Simon Muziotti, I actually got to see him play it against the Yankees double-A team, and he barreled the ball three or four times, and he really impressed me. So kind of interesting because he has a first Bowman card in 2022 Bowman, this year's Bowman release, and he's also now have it, has a rookie card the same exact year. It's pretty impressive. All right, we got a gold foil. Oof, got the K-word. <laughs> and we got ourselves a nice Aaron Judge. Jackie Robinson parallel. This one is not numbered, unfortunately. Let's see what the rest of the pack has. Mel Ott die cut. Dansby Swanson should be interesting to see where he lands. And a Freddie Freeman, so last three packs... Gonna need something big to save the box. All right, here we go. We got Bowman Chrome coming up later this month. Really excited for that. I think that comes out the 23rd, if all goes according to plan. And then um, I think there's one other fairly big release. I don't know if it's Stadium Club or one of those types of products. Maybe it's Ginter. I usually kind of straight away from Ginter. I don't like all those non-sports cards and whatnot. <laughs> but uh, 
you know, they do have some cool hits. It's just really hard to pull, you know, like a rookie autograph or a rookie parallel of any sort without opening cases upon cases. So Royce Lewis rookie card, Nestor Cortez. Another Marinaccio. All right, we got a rainbow foil. It's going to be a tiger. It's a rookie, Bo Brees, wrong rookie. We got a gold behind it. Ooh, Juan Soto. I thought that was a J Rod for a second. Juan Soto, black gold, Miguel Cabrera, and a Carlos Correa. So let's see who this gold card is going to be. It's a pitcher. Hopefully, it's a, a good one. Texas Ranger. Garrett Richards. Not going to get it done. <laughs> Not going to get it done. I was cracking up. <laughs> Striker kept saying that during his hanger case. Not going to get it done. <laughs> All right. So we're down to two packs here. And then we got the two silver packs. Not going to get it done. <laughs> Come on. Give me like an acetate rookie. Or some one of one. There's a Pena debut. Not gonna get it done. <laughs> Hunter Strickland, Yu Chang. George Kirby debut. Seth Lugot, also a free agent this year. Bryson Stott debut. Bryson Stott this madness. Matt Brash, rookie debut. Luis Guillorme. Catcher of flying bats. Albert Abreu getting to the good stuff here. All righty. Blake Trinan, we got a gold foil. Not going to get it done. Babe Ruth, not going to get it done. And Javi Baez. Last pack, fellas. Lucius Fox, Chris Bassett. There's that bow guy. Joe Ryan. Kyle Schorber. Austin Nola. Batista. Stephen Kwan, rookie card. There's our first Hunter Green. We'll take that. Gabriel Arias. Jaron Duran, rookie debut. Cole Sulcer. Got a rainbow foil. It's going to be an insert. So we got two parallels of this. Got something turned around here, fellas. Rookie of Joe Ryan. Joe Musgrove and a Ronald Acuna Jr. So let's see what this turned around card is. Probably going to be like a black gold parallel. I think that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Let's hope for a Bobby Witt. Oh, it's a Cub. That's a sick card, though. Seiya Suzuki. Blue. Not numbered. I don't think these are, but that looks pretty sweet with the Cubbies uniform. So we got some silver packs to go, and then that's going to wrap it up for the box. Pretty brutal box, not going to lie. <laughs> not going to lie. But I can't complain, honestly. First box made up for it. Um, so let's see what these silver packs are all about. Nothing too thick in here. Got an Edgar Martinez. Reggie Jackson, Mike Piazza, and a Greg Maddox. So not even a rookie in that pack. This one feels a touch thicker. Nope. Just the base pack here. Got a Sonny Gray, Bryce Harper, Corey Seager, and a Joe Morgan. Ouch. All righty. 
Um, that's going to do it, guys. Let's do a little recap. Do a little recap here. This is about more what you can expect. Got some nice cards here and there, but overall, not going to get it done. <laughs> so here we go. Here are the hits. Joe Ryan, Hunter Green rookie, Jeremy Pena. Got some gold inserts. Torkelson debut, Torkelson base, Suzuki hot box. Thought we had that Abrams black to 71. I was about to lose my mind. Got the Torkelson times two, Alec Thomas generation now, Jeremy Pena, CJ Abrams, Bobby Witt. Stan on usual short print. We got the blue Suzuki, gold Soto, and we got some nice relics here. And then the auto was a pitcher, John Heasley. So that's going to do it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will catch you all on the next one. Peds Card Collection out. Take care.